Hello, crochet friends, it's me, Jonah, and let's sing your inspirations for sponsoring today's show and tell. I just completed this super comfy and cozy Bernat Blanket Crochet Hoodie. It is so comfortable and plush and squishy, and you may think that looks pretty big, but that's because it's made for an adult, but I love it so much that I'll wear it just how it is, and it's so comfortable. And what adds to the comfort is the fact that it uses one of my favorite Super Bulky 6 yarns, Bernat Blanket Twist. Because now it's thick, it's plush if you work it tightly. And what I also like about Twist Yarn is that if you just look at it, you can see all the variation out of just one color. You don't have to change colors, use a tweed yarn. It's that slight variation. And this is the color Ocean, which is one of my favorites. And the only other materials you'll need are an eight millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, and optionally a couple stitch markers, which I do recommend. And of course, with like with any big comfy cozy blanket hoodie, there's a big kangaroo pouch with tons of space to put your TV remotes or anything else you'd like. And on the bottom of the sleeves and on the bottom at the cuff, there so there's some ribbing so it's nice and tight with nice baggy sleeves and the rest of the body. And another bonus, so you're extra cozy, is that there's a nice big hood. Oh, this is so warm. And you know what's even better? Anyone can make it because the only stitch you'll use is wait for it single crochet that's it the first stitch you learn when you're crocheting is the only stitch you need to know to make this now if you're going to make a size extra small to extra large you'll need six balls and if you want to make a size 2x to 5x you'll need eight balls instead of big balls of bernat blanket twist but you can also substitute it for regular bernat blanket bernat baby blanket Bernat Blanket Ombre, Bernat Blanket Stripes, any of the Bernat Blankets that are the big balls of 220 yards you can substitute for on this pattern. So grab the written pattern, which I'll have linked to below, your six or eight balls, depending on the size you like to make, of Bernat Blanket Twist, and of course, your eight millimeter crochet hook, or whatever size you need to obtain gauge. So I'm gonna show you how to work some of the stitching, the ribbing, and just the classic single crochet, if you don't know how, so you can make your very own crochet blanket hoodie with the squishy, comfortable Bernat blanket yarn. Let's get started. As you can see, I have a miniature swatch worked up here of single crochet ribbing at the bottom and single crochet at the top. And as you can see, it's so dense, you don't see any holes through it, you don't see any of the white from the table. And if I turn it to the side, look at how thick and plush this is. Just look at how dense that is but it's not heavy that's the wonderfulness of it being all bernat blanket is that it's thick but it's not heavy and you know what else is amazing about this yarn is it's super washable and dryable so that just makes this the perfect yarn to use for a blanket hoodie that'll get lots of wear so you of course know how to do single crochet in the back loop but if you don't know how to do single crochet you start by chaining up one and then you insert under both loops, like so, and then pull up a loop so you have two loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through two. Insert into your next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two. And you know what your next stitch is by turning your work over and going underneath both loops of the V on top. Two. And then next stitch, next stitch, your next stitch. And you can see it pulls all the variation with the black and the gray and the white in just one color of yarn because it's three strands of Bernat Blanket, thinner version, twisted together to make it nice and bulky. Stitch again. Stitch. Okay, so that's one row of just single crochet. So on your next row, I'm gonna show you how to do it in the back loop. So you're gonna chain one. And if I turn my work over, you can see right here, we have our front loop, the loop closest towards us. And then we also have our back loop, the loop right here. And then you have both loops, which is what you normally work under. So to work in the back loop, you're gonna turn your work and go across the loop on the opposite side of you and start. Pull up a loop, you're gonna over pull through two, 
and start in the next stitch in the back loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two. Back loop, loop, yarn over, pull through two. And this is what you need to keep repeating across. And once I finish the row, you'll be able to see how it makes a ridge stand out in your work and why it's used for ribbing and why, of course, it's so stretchable. And elastic is the better word. But after just working up a small swatch of the sleeve or the pocket or whatever you'd like to start with in your pattern, you'll know how simple this is and what a great pattern it is. It's even a great stash buster. If you have a ton of worsted weight yarn, you can hold two strands of worsted weight yarn together and then make the same pattern. It'd be a little heavier though, but it was great stash buster. And there you have it. That's what happens when you work in this loop. It gives you the single crochet ridge and you can see how it stands out. And at the bottom here, you can see it's very stretchable and makes an amazing cuff because this is all stretchy, but this is not as stretchable. This is more dense and bouncy, but this is very stretchable. So that's how you do your single crochet back loop and your classic single crochet. I hope you enjoyed today's show and tell on the Bernat Crochet Blanket Hoodie. And man, this is such a fun project and there's so many more benefits about using the Bernat Blanket Yarn that I haven't told you about yet. One of them is, guess what? Bernat Blanket Twist is machine washable and dryable, which is absolutely perfect for something that's gonna be getting a lot of wear and tear. And also, it's super customizable to make the sleeves longer and shorter, to make the body longer, shorter, thinner, and also, you can sew it up any way you'd like. You can use crochet, slip stitch, single crochet, mattress stitch, whip stitch, running stitch, any stitch you'd like, you can use it in this. And you can also add ribbing up at the top of the hood. You can make your ribbing thicker or thinner. You can increase the length of anything you'd like. So it's completely customizable. Let's shrink it down from a kid's all the way to a 5X. So this is a wonderful pattern to make. And of course, it's a great stash buster because you can use worsted weights and hold them together and have like a tweeted effect going throughout your entire thing. Kind of like the twist effect because I use Bernat Blanket Twist in my favorite color, Ocean. And if you enjoyed today's show and tell, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below to Jonas Hands and Your Inspirations. And as always, have a wonderful day. Please try out this blanket hoodie. You will fall in love. And crochet away, friends.